Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a breakfast with a fruit salad and a granola and an ice cream on top. And I have some specialties today I didn't really do make before. I'll come to that in a second. First I'm going to show you my granola. Maybe you know it already, I use it oftentimes. And it's very nutritious, very easy to make. It's buckwheat teas, they are called. Maybe you can purchase them, but I make it myself, get the buckwheat. Very expensive and easily available. Sprout it overnight, just soak in water and it begins to sprout right away. And I dry it in an oven or a dehydrator. But I show you how to make that in the video, linked under this one. It is so easy and you can store it in a large containers for month and month. It's always crunchy and dry because the water is out. Uh, so high nutrition and it's a, it's a power food. <laughs> uh, but it's nice to have it in a fruit salad put it in my fruit salad right away, in a bowl here, because uh, it makes the whole fruit salad more nutritious, lasting, and when you put a dressing on top, it can be a fruit juice, a plant milk, or I have a special cashew milk today with a season, new seasoning, as a new cashew milk here that is called cardamom date cashew milk, three ingredients and the water. You blend cashews with dates and cardamom. It's cardamom with a special spice and yeah, I show you how to make this one in another video too, another link under this one. And it's really cool because cardamom is a very important spice. It was in, in Indian forever, so to say, <laughs> thousands of years. And um, it's a little bit like pepper, but it is another, another flavor. It's like, like a mint. Some people say it's like mint, but when you, you ground it, it really has a very uh, powerful fragrance. Like mint a little bit, but it is it is sweet, but it's also very intense and much more than mint. And it has a, a antibacterial, antimicrobial, <laughs> anti-cancer. There are so many effects, antioxidant, and so many benefits. And you drink it in coffee, for example, and tea, black coffee, black tea, uh, black tea and coffee, um, to take the side effects away. You really taste it, feel it. I do, when I drink tea, I always put it in. Oops, excuse me. <coughs> I always use it in my tea and my, uh, my coffee too sometimes. Um, it's very nice. Um, I'll show you another video how to do that, but it's not linked. It's not another topic. It's chai, it's an Indian tea. But uh, cardamom is used everywhere. Uh, in Indian is a very common one. And for the digestion is good, yeah. So, very cool. So I put a little bit of it from this dressing. Uh, on top of the of the um, cardam uh, the buckwheat is right away, because that's uh, nice when you soak them a little bit, uh, soak them back so to say, uh, just a little bit here. That's the, that's the base. Yeah. Uh, then they begin to to get um, they remain crunchy, but they get um, they soak a little bit and so they get juicy too. Like like almost on the I don't feel when you get the fresh buckwheat from the field, they are also. Um, Fresh and juicy, like all the cereals. It's a pseudo cereal, not a real cereal. It doesn't matter. Um, and now that happens. Now they begin to soak. That's why I put it in um, into the into the bowl a little bit earlier while I prepare the other ingredients. Now I put the bananas in there, the blueberries. Yeah. I have some fruit here. Yeah, two bananas, uh, half cup of blueberries, or third cup, two third cups, bananas, blueberries strawberries and apricots. I uh, love these combinations. Yeah. Strawberries and bananas are perfect. Yeah. Apricots and cream. Yeah, the, uh, the cream of the, of the cashews is so nice with apricots. Yeah. And now I put some more. I'll put that later. Put it now, put it now uh, together. Combine everything. Now the buckwheat is already begin to soak. It's very easy and a wonderful, powerful fruit salad with these buckwheaties and the dressing. And I fill it into my glass to serve it to myself. And um, on top, I will put an ice cream. I can't help myself. I love these banana ice creams so much. I make a, a lemonade ice cream today. That's wonderful together with blueberries, with the bananas. It's really a special flavor. This lemon ice cream, yeah, early when I was little, 
I always loved the little ice cream. Most <laughs> we all the kids came out of school and went to the to the ice cream wagon car. That was my ice cream with a lemon. <laughs> I want to have as sour as possible. <laughs> that was sweet, of course, too. I love the ice cream. Some of my friends did too. Others had other chocolate, vanilla, whatever, strawberry. Always different. But vanilla and lemon was mine. I don't know why. Yeah, that's different now. I have different ice creams now. I like <laughs> all kinds of ice cream. But here, this is the fruit salad. Just uh, first, yeah. Uh, with a little bit of dressing, but now I fill up the fruit salad with all of the dressing. That's the idea of this fruit salad because uh, the dressing is runny and uh, it should be more. It could be like a soup yeah, on this on this fruit salad. Yeah, he fills up now the whole uh, the whole bowl here. It's a lot of dressing now, and that's the idea. When the dressing is runny like this. It's nicer to have a little bit more. You can also make a, a soup. Yeah? You can put <clears throat> this all in a plate or a bowl and put some uh, fruit in it as a fruit soup <laughs> with that dressing. It's very nice. But today I have a little bit in between and I make another ice cream, another topping here. It's an ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I'll show you in a moment how to have to get uh, to the freezer to get my frozen bananas out and the cold baked ones from the fridge. That's important. Come back in a sec. So these are my frozen bananas, that's the base for my ice cream. And um, they need to be right from the freezer because otherwise it melts too fast. You know? And um, the right tool to make it uh, like in beautiful scoops for the ice cream is the food processor. Fit it with the s plate. The s plate is important because it is not so fast. The power blender is very fast and creates a lot of heat. So this is the right tool. For ice cream. Yeah. When you have a blender only, go ahead, uh, you will, will have nice ice cream, but maybe not scoops. Yeah. It depends on how you do it and so how tricks you, how tricky you are, but this is the perfect tool to make little beautiful scoops. So bananas go in, it's a base for so-called nice cream. And I also have some cold date mousse here. It's also important that everything put in there should be cold. Uh, date mousse, uh, there's another video again, how to make date mousse, uh, but it's simple, dates blended with water as date mousse. Uh, you can store it for a week or so, no problem, in the fridge, refrigerator. Uh, then you can have a nice sweetener. And here the lemon juice is the balance for the date mousse. Uh, date mousse and lemons together, they create wonderful flavors. They enhance the other flavors. And this is a whole lemon juice, that means it will be a lemony flavor. But a really lemony flavor will only come from the zest. I have a half a zest of lemon here. Also, that has a lemony flavor. The lemon juice is more sour. Yeah. The lemony flavor comes from the lemon zest. It's the most important part of the lemon, <laughs> the yellow color, the characteristic one, but it is very powerful. You can't use too much, you can't be bitter, but it can really make a nice lemony flavor. And then I have cashew uh, powder, cashew powder, cashew flour, yeah. ground cashew. It's very simple. I have here electric coffee grinder. I put some cashews in there. In seconds, I have the beautiful cashew flour to make my ice cream creamy, creamy, creamy. I like that. So it's creamy lemon ice cream. <laughs> and I have to be fast now because it melts, as you know. Blend, blend. Blender dance for Blitz ice cream. Yeah, that has to be fast. It's a Blitz ice. Yeah, it's not for anything that it's not for. It's not by chance that I call it like that. Call it like that. Call it that. But it looks good. To me, the ice cream could be nice yet. This is still nice scoops. Let's see. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I have, to have the scoops. Now be careful. Put them on top. Put the fruit salad. That is such a nice thing. And you didn't try it yet. I really recommend you make an ice cream fruit salad with an ice cream on top. Such a wonderful breakfast, especially of course when it's warm outside. 
last summer I invented all this in my kitchen. I made a lot of breakfasts with these kinds of ice creams on top. You can make so many different ice creams. So much fun. Oops. That's okay. A little bit too much. I was too much sauce. sauce. That's my ice cream here, my breakfast. Oops, it's instant rip. Ah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was too greedy. <laughs> okay. But I have to go now because it's melting, as you see. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you like, like my video, subscribe, I'm leaving on YouTube, have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.